Hello. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to another YouTube video episode of The Intuitive Wanderers. I'm happy to be here with you today. It's, oh, see that sun? It's sunny. It's beautiful outside. All right, let's just get to it. <laughs> Something just came up to me or came to mind that I thought was really interesting. And it was the concept of money. Lately, I've been in this space where I found myself feeling judgmental, I guess. I don't think I'm never not judgmental, but judgmental in a way that hasn't been serving me. It's been contradicting with how I like to look at life. I'm very open-minded most of the time and curious and lately the way certain people have been moving the way certain circumstances and events have been happening in my life i've just been super judgmental and almost i'm gonna almost say that i've been in like victimhood mentality which is rare for me i'm gonna keep it 100 it's rare because i'm usually before I jump into victim mentality, I jump straight into 100% taking responsibility, sometimes to a fault where I'm like kind of blinded by, oh, it's on me, it's on me that I don't necessarily take a second to fall back and realize, okay, it is on me. I did create this, but let's just kind of see this for what it is. So I think I have been growing tired of my bullshit i've been growing tired of acting like i don't know what it is that i want what i need what i'm expecting out of myself out of life and out of others in particular while it is not on me to fix or control anyone it is on me to be very accepting and aware of how people are showing up in my life and then deciding from that point on if it resonates or not. So there has just been a lot of thought process going on around being seen. And the idea of, um, I'm particularly talking about human design, if you resonate with that philosophy, um, particular if you are a projector, there's this concept of waiting for an invitation and how we deeply desire to feel seen and heard and all that other great stuff. And I think it's deep down something that everyone feels, but it really hits deep with the projector. Like it's a deep, deep need. And um, I've noticed that in me. I've noticed how my life at this point has been an accumulation of me seeing people so deeply in hopes that they would reciprocate that energy and uh your girl is tired she's tired she's tired she's grateful i'm very grateful for what i have learned as a result of moving this way but i think i have gotten clear that there is an easier way at this point in my life and i have gathered all of the material that i need to figure out what does asha need what is it that she's really looking for in all areas of her life and for the areas in her life that she is clear on what's holding her back what permission is she waiting on from others where is she waiting to be seen and I hope it doesn't weird you out that I'm talking to my, talking about myself in third person. But the question is extended to you as well. Where are you? Where are you waiting to be seen? Instead of just looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing yourself, instead of you acknowledging your need and fulfilling it, instead of you um, having your feelings and your thoughts and actually just choosing to understand yourself and accept yourself instead of blame and criticize yourself i have a tendency to be like overcritical of myself and that that's wearing me down too because i feel like it's building a level of resentment and bitterness in me because it's like dang i'm doing all of this work to make sure that i show up 
with my t's crossed and my eyes dotted and it's like everyone else is just out here doing their lives doing their thing living their lives not giving two hoots about what it is that i need and respectfully it's not on them it's not on anyone to meet asha's needs asha doesn't need to be sitting here waiting for permission and i know this i hear this but it's like layers to this shit <laughs> it's layers some days most days it's like oh yeah i got it it's here but that subconscious activity going on down here i keep doing the same thing and where i thought i kind of like okay i cleaned off that that layer of dust then i'm like dang but there's more layer of dust there's more of this um disease to please there's more of this not tapping into my own power because i'm valuing the power of others more so in saying all of that um i have been really intentional these last few days especially on being very very visible to myself more importantly how can i show up for me and i started looking at like the times where i would go above and beyond for other people and i really sat down and asked myself like is there a part of me like deep down that feels like if I don't do this that I'm gonna like lose love or do I feel like people are gonna be upset with me and it has to be because that's what I've been manifesting the minute that I'm like oh I need this I'm perceiving my reality in my reality that people are not showing up for me in the way that I need it or that people are upset with me and I know this is a projection I know that these are perceptions that I'm putting out in my reality but it doesn't mean that it doesn't feel real and that I'm not dealing with the real consequences of that perception so because I'm a girl who likes to get shit done and she likes to succeed <laughs> I have really been focusing on one acknowledging that accepting where I'm at and um making some intentional effort to rock the boat and it doesn't feel good and I talk a lot about doing what feels good and I stand by it I feel like do what feels good until it doesn't feel good anymore it's not always going to prevent you from hurt or heartache or frustration but it is going to get you to your lesson a lot quicker that's been my experience and yeah I've definitely just been, I have been stirring up the boat. I have been setting more boundaries for myself. The things that I didn't think were as important, I'm realizing like my morning routine is pivotal because even something as simple as taking intentional time for myself in the morning before I give my time to others I can see where I'm so fluid and so flexible that I'm like, oh, it's it'll be okay. And then that resentment starts to build up. That lack of self-care starts to show. And I have no one else to blame but myself. And because I know that, in my head, I'm just battling instead of accepting it and then getting back on schedule of, okay, let me create this sacred space for myself this morning routine let me make sure i'm giving myself the foods that i need let me make sure that i'm standing up for myself let me make sure that i'm setting the boundaries even though it makes me feel cringe because i don't want to hurt anybody honey just do it already <laughs> do it and i know it's me because i look at other people and i'm like dang you're just okay with just just that's just you're just gonna put that boundary up there you just you don't even care how another person feels and it's it's not even that people don't care how other people feel they just care more about how they feel and I'm I'm learning how to balance that because I am genuinely a pure person and I'm not just saying that because I'm talking about myself like I'm a pure person and that can come off as um 
me being very devotional, very consistent, very nurturing, very present with my time when I'm with others. Um, I'm very wifely. So that definitely in my relationships with men, that looks like a lot of giving, a lot of nurturing, a lot of giving a commitment that hasn't been earned yet. And it's so natural for me to do these things because this is naturally who I am. What I'm having to do is I'm having to offset this beautiful light energy about me with my dark energy. The dark energy that I try to hide, the part of me that is very detached and can be very cold hearted. The part of me that is very judgmental and can actually look at certain things and be like, what the hell are you, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, those are the parts of me that I am getting more comfortable with and I'm learning how to embrace because those are the parts of me that are going to in my opinion protect the the beautiful light that I have to offer so no I don't have to stop being the person that I am but I do have to continue building these energetic boundaries around myself I have to continue to have this strong level of discernment I have to be judgy so that I can really see what is being offered what the invitation is and checking does this make me feel seen if it doesn't make me feel seen then this is where I need to use my detached energy my coldness my judgy energy to make that decision within myself so that I can say no thank you um, but what ends up happening is I don't do that. I let the light side of me take over. Um, so it's like letting a naive little girl just out into the world without any protection. And then I continue to give, 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 give. People continue to take, 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 because it's natural. Why would you not? Uh, she seems so genuine about it. <laughs> and then I realize something clicks because I'm drained. I'm defeated. I'm depleted. And I'm realizing, damn, what was this person offering me? What was this situation offering me? Was I really f being seen? Um, and yeah, it's really just the reflection of me not seeing myself and not seeing the whole picture all of who i am not just the light side but the dark side of me the the whole masculine and feminine aspect of me all of that really needs to be seen by me standards need to go up expectations need to go up um and it goes back to the conversation i had in my last my other video about the masculine loves selfish women and when I say the masculine I'm not just referring to men I'm talking about men the world anyone that you're interacting with where you're going to be receiving their energy receiving their invitations um so yeah I'm I'm definitely noticing that about me I'm noticing how uh there's some things that I just really know I want and I'm out here not making full decisions and that's, that's gotta stop. That's gotta stop. I think I make a decision. I'm moving away that I thought I was making a decision. And then life be playing me and reminding me that I didn't make a decision. Yeah. But I think the way to handle this is if you are making a decision, like I'm going to decide that I get to have my desire, whatever that desire is. I decide that I get to have it. The biggest part in my journey of just manifestation, owning my power, growing into who I am as a woman, my biggest takeaway has been all of this growing into my own power, understanding spirituality, getting into manifestation, like recognizing all that's happening and not even fully knowing it, but just being exposed to my power um and my quote-unquote creative processing of this what I have realized is it does not take away the fact that what I'm going through right now is something that I've created and it does require my full attention 
it requires me to fully accept it so for example if i am wanting to have my car fixed right your girl is is a complete girly girl she likes to have things in order she likes things to be easy and when i'm not interested in something there's someone i can pay to do this like there has to be i have to be abundant with money because and with being able to network and, and meet other people who know how to do things because when i don't want to do it it ain't gonna get done so i do have to delegate i don't have the energy to to like figure out how to work a car do i know how to do what's basic and what's necessary yes absolutely will i figure it out if i needed to yes absolutely but why that's not a part of my desire part of my desire is i get to have a reliable car a car that i love i get to have a car that is uh on top tier shape so when it's not when something's wrong with the car i don't get to just ignore the car and it's troubles and i'm like oh yeah whatever <laughs> So was that a hubcap oh no whatever i'm driving life is perfect my car is perfect and it's like no sis no 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 except what's going on right now your car ain't so top tier um except first right allow the accepting of the reality that you're going through to really help you get clear on what it is that you prefer seeing your hubcap fly out seeing your car being an issue of any sort is going to remind you of what it is you truly want, which is a top tier um, experience in your car. You want your car to be top tier. You want it to work well. You want to feel reliable and feel safe. Feel like you can rely on it and feel safe. So acknowledge that first, acknowledge what's actually going on and then still stand in your power and say, I can have what I want. And I'm saying this because that is what I've had to continuously do. Like that is where the strength comes in. When life is showing you how you can't have anything, it's just a projection of your old beliefs. It's a project projection, ugh, a projection of your fears, right? Some fears that you carry, some fears that are coming through your generation, generational fears. And you have to continuously show up and show up and say, I still get to have this. God, show me what my next step is. Who do I need to call? What do I need to do? What can I figure it out? And that has been huge for me, like really accepting something and not avoiding it. Cause your girl at one point was using manifestation to avoid shit. And I knew it was a problem. That's why I didn't talk about it, but I've, I've overcome it. I've overcome it. And I don't know who's still doing that or who's going through that. But if you can relate, don't do that to yourself, right? The whole power of manifesting, the whole power of um, coming into your power, creating the life you want to live is not to avoid the life that you've created so far. It's to look at it, own it, embrace it, and then from there, feel your way through on how to create something different. So yeah <sighs> i always feel like i just go on tangents when i talk about this stuff but i love it i hope you guys love it too <laughs> someone out there loves it but yeah you know it's really interesting i've definitely been having to get real with circumstances that was definitely a situation in my previous relationship I wasn't owning the fact that this man was telling me, like, I don't know if I'm the man for you. And I was like, no, but you're perfect. It's going to be okay. <laughs> I was neglecting my own needs. So how on earth could I ever be mad at him for not meeting my needs? I wasn't even meeting my needs. I wasn't even seeing myself. Why could I be mad at anyone for not seeing me if I'm not seeing myself? So I really had to learn that when people were showing me who they are, I had to believe them. But the pureness in me, the I can see through everything, the optimism, the I can understand why people are going through what they're going through and doing what they're doing, that part of me completely goes blindsided into the fucking dungeon's hell. Like, it's, it's bad. 
bad. It's bad. And I know there's a purpose. I know there's a purpose because when I'm working with people, when I when there is an invitation that makes me feel seen and I'm interacting with people who who I'm interacting with people and it's like a reciprocity of energy that being able to see people deeply is like top tier like just really good it's really good it's well received um and it's it's at my favor in my favor but when there's moments that people are showing up in a way that does not serve me and in those moments I'm denying that I'm denying myself I'm looking past that and being like it's okay uh that's where I'm in some dangerous territory so I wanted to share that because I don't know if anyone is in those moments, especially as you're manifesting anything in your life. Um, when you're manifesting your partners, your relationships, like that's a huge one. Really be able to look at your partner and sit with it. Ask yourself, are they showing up the way that I would prefer? Because while I do have the power to shift and to attract what it is that I want, I can only be as powerful as I am in the moment. The present moment is where the power is at. So if you're not able to stay present enough to feel through and, and experience and acknowledge what's happening, accept what's happening, you're going to you're going to self-sabotage. You're going to put yourself through a lot more um, trauma and BS than is necessary. You're going to, if there's any part of you that never thought that you were deserving of the relationship that you want, that is the sure way for you to um, make that true. Same thing with money. You know, sometimes people want money. I want to be abundant. I want to have this money. I want to, and those are fine. Have those desires. But those same people, instead of sitting with it and sitting with their reality and the actual paradigm of this reality they don't sit down and think how can I really build abundance I know life is magical and I know life is practical and, and we can move through that but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to continuously put money into money into money 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 into the lottery which I know is a very small percentage um, and I'm going to put all my eggs in that basket and I don't ever want to take anybody away from doing what inspires them. But just ask yourself, am I doing this because I am inspired to? Meaning it's moving me in the direction of, of a possibility? Or am I doing this to prove to myself subconsciously that I can never get the money that I deserve? Am I dealing with this man or the you know my dating these un emotionally unavailable men or men who don't meet my love list uh because i've been inspired to do that and this is a part of my journey or or lesson of getting clear or because there's really a connection between us or is there the part of you that subconsciously is trying to prove that you cannot have the love that you deserve. So make sure that you are deciding and check in with yourself. Really sit around on all occasions of your life. Ask yourself, am I getting what it is that I need? Are the needs that I'm trying to meet for other people, is that also a mutual benefit for me? me and my higher self in particular or am I just playing into this old paradigm that by meeting other people's needs even if it sacrifices me in the meantime it'll be good in the long run because finally they'll turn around and meet mine yeah so with that being said I will end this but I hope throughout these 24 25 minutes of talking you have been able to collect some gems because we are just out here trying to thrive we are out here trying to grow we are out here trying to create the life that we deserve and i want that for all of y'all so until next time i'll talk to y'all later